Ezra chapter 2. We're going to look at the people going back to Jerusalem. Now these are the children of the province. That's the first time that word shows up. That went up out of the captivity. The Jews that have come into Babylon. Of those which had been carried away. Whom Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon had carried away unto Babylon. And came again into Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his own city. So here we go. Which came with Zerubbabel. He's called Zerubbabel. You'll find his name in Matthew 1, 12 and 13. Jeshua. Now that's the high priest Joshua, which you'll read about in Haggai and Zechariah. Nehemiah, that's the next book. Sariah, Reliah, Mordecai, that is not the Mordecai of Esther. Bilshan, Mizpar, Begavai, Rehum, Benham, the number of the men of the people of Israel. Now those are the names who are in charge. Now the children of, throughout this list, are going to be towns, not people. The children of Parish, 2,172. The children of Shaphatiah, 372. The children of Ara, 775. The children of Path Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The children of Elam, 1,254. The children of Zitu, 955. The children of Zakkai, 703 score. The children of Bani, 652. 40 and 2, excuse me. The children of Babai, 620 and 3. The children of Asgad, 1,220 and 2. <clears throat> excuse me. The children of Adonai, 660 and 6. 666. Kind of and that name means a lord of rebellion. The children of Big Bell, 2,050 and 6. The children of Adam, 450 and 4. The children of Ater of Hezekiah, 90 and 8. The children of Bezai, 320 and 3. The children of Jorah, 112. The children of Hashemah, 220 and 3. I've lost my place. All right. The children of Gabar, 90 and 5. The children of Bethlehem, see that's a city, 120 and 3. The children of Nephi, 50 and 6. The children of Ananoth, Ananoth, Jeremiah 1.1 1, 1, and Jeremiah 11.20. That's Jeremiah's hometown. This is a city of the priests. That's where Jeremiah comes from. 128. And when, you, when we get or if you read through the book of Jeremiah, these are the people of his own hometown like Jesus want him dead. Jeremiah. They plotted against Jeremiah. And yet. Did Jeremiah fail? No, there were some people of his city in Babylon, and they're going back. The children asked Maya, Beth, 40 and 2. The children of Kirjiv Aram, Shepharim, and Berioth, 740 and 3. The children of Rabba, of G Geba, 620 and 1. The men of Michmas, 120 and 2. The men of Bethel, and Ai, you know those are cities, 220 and 3. The children of Nebo, 15 and 2. The children of Michmish, at 150 and 6. The children of the other Elam. Now, if you look at verse 7 real quick, there's Elam. There are two places in the Bible called Elam. So, this is where maybe some of your confusions are. There's two Bethlehems. There's a Bethlehem of Judea, and I forget what the other one is. Uh, the, uh, the Mediterranean Sea has several names. The Salt Sea has several names. That may be one of the confusions. 1,254. The children of Haram, 320. The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono. You know, remember that city. 725. The children of Jericho. That's a cursed city. 345. The children of Sheha. 3,630. Ooh, thought we're done with names. The priests. 
The children of Jedediah, the house of Jeshua, chapter 2, verse 2, 973. Oh, more names. The children of Immer, 1,052. The children of Pasher, 1,257. The children of Haram, 1,017. The Levites, again, all priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. The children of Jeshua and Cadmiel, the children of Hadaviah, 70 and 4. The singers, the children of Asaph. Now look what the Lord did to him. Asaph goes back to when David's alive. David has chosen Ahab, and with the book of Psalms, you are the spiritual leader, you are the song leader of all the instruments and all the music at the temple. And that guy is so faithful that we see his name, we see some of his psalms in our book of Psalms, and God has pers God has blessed his children that when they are in Babylon, there are children there of Asaph, and they're going back to Jerusalem, and they're again going to be back in their positions of playing music and singing to God. That's interesting. 120 and 8. The children of the porters, those are gatekeepers. The children of Shalom, the children of Atter, the children of Talmud, the children of Akub, the children of Akub, the children of Hittite, the children of Shobai. Aren't you English, aren't you American mothers glad you have to call some of these names of your children? The children of Shobai in all 139. The Nephilim. The children of Zia. Now these are the children in Joshua chapter 9 that they made an agreement with. You know, they, they lied and deceived the children of Israel. We come from a far country, see our smelly feet and our moldy bread and our clothes are all rent. And Joshua and the elders made a plead with them. Yeah, okay, we'll be friends with you. And then they found out they're the neighboring city. He said, well, you guys are going to draw water and you're going to be our servants of the temple or the tabernacle at that point. Well, guess who shows up? Here they are. Joshua made an eternal pact with that family, and they, God says, okay. They lied to you, but you made that pact, you made that oath, and there they are still. It's like that family we're going to come, I think it's Jeremiah, I don't remember their name, but their father says, don't eat, drink, I mean, don't drink liquor, don't have settled yourself in houses, be no ass, and they keep following the Lord, and God was able to use them as a great illustration to the, to the nation of Israel and their rebellion and their, their rudeness to God and that family today, Rechabites and you can go over in the area of the Middle East and still find Rechabite families and isn't it a great thing to know that if you're faithful enough and you bring up your children enough and that there could be a family and family and family and families of serving the Lord the children of Hesop and children of Tabal, the children of Kiros, the children of Saiha, the children of Padon, the children of Leba, the children of Hagabah, the children of Akab, the children of Hegdom, the children of Shammai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gibel, the children of Gaia, the children of Riahiah, the children of Rezin, the children of Nikodah, the children of Gaza, the children of Uzzah, the children of Pasha. The children of Bassai, the children of Asana, the children of Meninim, the children of Nephishim, the children of Bukbuk, Bakbuk, the children of Hakkapiah, the children of... Now listen, if you get these names wrong, you're reading through the Bible, God is not going to destroy your work. Wow, you didn't pronounce that name right. And these are the English, these are not the Hebrew names. And if you were to get a true Hebrew writing, to, you wouldn't believe what they look like. You couldn't even picture. And what they've done is they translate from Hebrew to English, and it doesn't have to be right. But that's that's the red ring of the translation. And you know what? You, you just put your eyes over it if you're reading. You're going through the book of the Bible through the year. You know, just put your eyes on those words. But read them. Okay, I was at 49. The children of Uzzah, the children of Pasha, the children of Bezai, the children of Asna, the children of Methiam, the children of Nephthim, the children of Bakpah, the children of Hakapah, the children of Harp, 
You read through these, you've done better than some people's read. The children of Bezov, the children of Mehadiah, the children of Harsha, the children of Burkos, the children of Caesarea, the children of Tamai, the children of Nazariah, the children of Pacifier. Next. The children of Solomon's servants. These are the ones that serve under Solomon. They must have been faithful. I mean, what's a servant? Yes, master, here's your wine. Yes, master, here's your clothes. That's what it is. The children of Sotai, the children of Sephira, the children of Peruda, the children of Jael, the children of Darkon, the children of Gibeon, the children of Sephatiah, the children of Hatai, the children of Pachari of Zabim, the children of Ammi, the children of Nethanim, the children of Solomon's servants were 390 and 2. Now notice with the Nethanim, verses 43 to 54, there's no numbering. Everybody else is numbered. Now those were the people that were cursed in the land of Canaan, but God couldn't curse them because Joshua and the leaders blessed them. They're there, but they're not given account of a number. The children of Solomon's servants, well, there's a number. And the children of the priests. So here's the priest. So there are priests going back. Well, that's no, that's. Oh wow! Never knows nothing. So they are numbered with. I never know that nothing. I was I ain't reading through it. All right, so the nothings are put in with the servants of Solomon. That's quite interesting because those are the ones that Joshua said, okay, we'll make peace with you. You be our servants of the tabernacle and they end up in Solomon's court. So they go from the temple to Solomon's quarters. That's a big uh, position boast. All the Nethans and the children of Solomon served were 309 and 2. That's not very much either. But there they are numbered. And these were they which went up to Tel, that's a hill, a mountain, Tel, Mela, Tel, Harsha, Cherub, Adin, Immer. But they could not show their father's house and their seed whether they were of Israel. So we don't know, were they Jewish? We don't know. Because there's no registry. There's no genealogy that points them to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then the 12 sons. Then the children of Delilah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nicodah, 615 too. And the children of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Kov, the children of Barzillai, which took a wife of the daughters of Basilii, the Gileadite, and was called after their name. So here is some men taking a wife, and they take the wife's name. That's in the Bible. These sought their registry. That's the first time that word shows up. Register, excuse me, not registry. Register. Have you registered? It has to do with the name. So these men walked up that took these wives and took their wives, their, their father's name, have walked up to him and said, okay, now where's our name in the book? And they're called priests. Verse 61. Now we got a problem. They sought to register among those that were reckoned by de genealogy. No one can just be a priest. You can't walk up like you do with the Catholic Church and say, I'm a priest. I went to, to a school. In the Jewish law, in the ways of God for the priesthood, you have to be not only of Levi, but you have to be of Aaron. So, those that were reckoned by Gina, but they were not found. They changed their name. Therefore were they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. You're not priests. Why? We can't find your names in a row. 
when the row is called up yonder here, they were found missing. Your family's not mentioned. And a Tarshua, that's a title, a ruler, a leader. Many people have different aspects on that. But we'll say a title. It's an office. Said unto them, they should not eat of the most holy things. That would be the manna. I mean, not manna. The showbread, the offerings of the people, the shoulders, the, the first fruits of the land. You're not going to, you can't eat of that stuff. You can't partake of the priest's offerings by the people. But till there stood up a priest with a Urim and with a Thum. Now, if you remember that Urim Thurim, you find that in Exodus 28 30, that had the 12 names of the children of Israel on the breastplate with the stone, the birthstone. That Urim and Thurim, which is called lights and perfection, is put inside that breastplate. David one time says, Bring that breastplate. I got a question. And whatever it did is say, you know, the, the tops of the Mulberry Hill trees. Remember that? And the question is here. The churchman said, well, let's bring the Urim third, which you have to bring the breastplate. Are you going to ask God through the, through the breastplate, the Urim third, are these people priests or not? That's the question. We don't know who these people are. The whole congregation together was 40 and 2,303 score. Besides their servants, so we didn't count the servants, Solomon's servants, but not the people's servants, and their maids. That's the first time maid shows up. So again, when Jesus fed the 5,000, it was the men, not the women and children. Not all the numbers are complete. Of whom there were 7,337 maids of servants, or both. The whole congregation together was 42,303 score. Besides the servants and the maids, put them in a different class, of whom there were 7,337. And there were among them, who? 200 singing men and singing women. Well, I thought they were over there mentioned with Asaph in verse 41. All right. That's the people. Their horses were 736. There's not very many horses for 42,000 people. Not everybody had a horse. And they probably only used the horses for the wagons to carry things. Their mules... 245 they would be used for carrying burdens and yet Mary the mother of Jesus was ridden on a mule their camels 435 and their asses 6720 so God even reckons the animal and some of the chief of the fathers those are in charge when they came to the house of the Lord. When they came to the house of the Lord. Is it there? It's not there. It's been destroyed. So it's not the building. They are at the site where the temple was. It's rocks and rubble. The building's not there. It's been destroyed. Which shows a Bible account that your place is not the building. The people have come together for one purpose, to meet God. And God says, here you all are. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am. And you don't have to be in a building. These people are coming to Jerusalem. They're all settled for one purpose, to meet God. And there's the house of the Lord. Where is it? It's the people, not the building. Look at that. Even the Old Testament you find it's not the house, it's the people. Which is truth and offered freely for the house of God that they're going to build to set it up in this place. So they're giving and had collected and been giving stuff, materials to build the house. Remember David stockpiled, stockpiled and Solomon got more than he needed. 
They gave after their ability. Second Chronic Second Corinthians nine six through fourteen, the New Testament. It's not by four. They gave what they could. This is the widow with the two mites. Remember, Jesus said she gave all her living. They didn't give all their 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 living. Second Corinthians nine six through fourteen, and we're not to give all our living. Listen, we pay our bills. And what we got extra outside of foolishness and entertainment on that, Lord, this is what I have for you. Now, if they need spoons, I'm using this as a thing. A woman is not going to go into her drawer and give the Lord every single spoon so she don't have any. She's going to say, well, listen, my family are three people. I need three spoons. Lord, I'm going to give you all the rest. And what you need, you kept, and what you, hey, Lord, the rest is extra. For you, I give. You know, a lot of people think the law is strict when it comes to the offering. Here it is. But though the law says there is a tithe, but they gave to, uh, after their ability. Unto the treasure of the whole three score and 1,000 drams of gold and 5,000 pounds of silver. And 100 priest garments. Priest garments? Do you realize when they were in Babylon, they were sewing and making garments to go back? Somebody was doing that. It didn't say cloth. Remember in Exodus when Moses said, listen, we need gold, we need silver, we need badger skin, we need gold, we need this, and we need cloth, we need... Uh, uh, But we we need the we need the material and they had the materials and they turned them into the priest's clothing. Here it already says priest's garment. Somebody while sitting in captivity said, God says we're going back in 70 years. Really? Yes, I believe God. Do you? How do you believe God? I'm gonna start making garments for the priest. So when they go back to Jerusalem, there are the garments. That's not what the king of uh that's not what Cyrus is giving. Cyrus given everything that was in Babylon's temple, the gold, the silver, the spoons, and everything that was taken out of the temple. Now you got somebody who's given the garments. So the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nethanim dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their city. So they're back in the land. They're settled in. Now they're going to start building. 